All right, well, I'm just about ready to head up and start making dinner. I'm uh, gonna try using some of the link cod for baked stuffed cod. Uh, one of the things about harvesting fish and cleaning and processing is trying to salvage and use all of the meat. Uh, I see a lot of videos where guys or gals are not uh, taking the stomach meat. This recipe called for thin strips, which is perfect to use the stomach meat on this. So utilizing the entire fish and making an absolutely amazing meal. So let's head up to the kitchen and get started. From start to finish on this dinner, you're looking at about probably 40 to 45 minutes, uh, depending on how how much clean work you got to do on the fish and how smoothly wrapping the fish around the, the breading goes. I'll put a full list of all the ingredients into the description of this video and try to be as detailed as I can as I'm going through this. Uh, this recipe in particular is one that you do want to follow the recipe very closely. Uh, not like the one I did with the stew a couple days ago and some of the others where you can kind of play around with the ingredients and different things. This one you need to be, you need to follow it pretty closely. So the first part of this, we're just going to go ahead and make up some stuffing according to the instructions on the box. After we start preheating the oven, we're going to cut up some of my favorite mushrooms and get these sauteed. We're going to add these into the stuffing and then set the stuffing with the mushrooms off to the side to cool. Next, we'll finally dice up the green onions and almonds and uh, zest our orange and then start cleaning up the fish a little bit. Um, I'm just going to take the silver skin off the inside of the, the belly, the stomach lining. Um, you know, the, the more meticulous you are with the cleaning of the fish and, and tidying this kind of stuff up, the, the better result you're going to get. Next, we need to measure out a quarter of a cup of butter. I'm using real butter here and I forgot to take it out and let it get a little bit soft. So I'm just going to cut it up and pack it in here. This is going to be the beginning of our white sauce and the ingredients need to be measured very, very specifically uh, and the instructions followed very carefully for this to have the, the outcome that you're looking for on this sauce. You'll want to cook the butter over medium heat until it starts to brown. Once the butter starts to brown, take it off the heat and mix in the flour, salt and garlic and then stir this mixture until it's smooth. Once it's smooth, go ahead and add in the two cups of milk and stir it until it's all mixed together. Put it back over the medium heat, bring it up to a boil, stirring continuously all the way through this process and keep the, the mixture over the heat, stirring until it thickens. Uh, once it gets nice and thick, you can take it off the heat and set it off to the side. Before we start putting this thing together, we want to spray our 9 by 13 pan with some vegetable oil. Okay, it's time to stuff the cod. So we're going to take those strips of belly meat that we had and the stuffing that we mixed the mushrooms with and put them together. One of the things that I found that really make this a little bit easier is to take the stuffing and kind of pack it down in my hand, uh, make it a little bit more solid, and then gently roll the meat around. Um, Obviously you only want to put enough stuffing in that the meat can reach all the way around so you can put a toothpick in it and hold it together and then gently set it into the glass pan that we just greased. Now that we've got the cod stuff and evenly distributed these pieces throughout the pan, uh, we're going to finish this up now. So let's go ahead and take the lemon juice and we'll sprinkle this over the top and then sprinkle the orange zest over the top of that. The next part will be to carefully spoon on the white sauce. Uh, this white sauce is its kind of surprising. It, if you get it to the right thickness when you cooked it, it will gel up a little bit more after it cools off, but it will stay right on top of this even in the oven. Once you get the, the white sauce spooned on here fairly evenly, then we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle on the green onions and the almonds that we chopped up earlier. The strips of meat that I used on this are fairly thin, so we're going to cook these for about 25 minutes in the oven at 350 degrees. You want to make sure and cook these until the meat looks white and flaky all the way through, that there's none of the translucent color left to the meat. Um, once you take these out of the oven, just they're ready to serve hot. You don't need to let them rest uh, whatever your favorite side is. Uh, in this case, I made a nice salad to go with. From the field to your table, enjoy.